Oh my god, what's what's Anna doing? <gasps> Anna! Welcome back everyone to another episode of Beholder. In the last sad episode, our daughter Martha has passed away. And Patrick, our son, has told us news that he wishes to leave the country. And goddamn, well, how much is it? 20,000, well, currency of this world, which is, says dollars, but this is not America. This is like some sort of ex-Soviet state thing. Anyway, yeah. Uh, what's also this? Yeah, light bulbs. Anyway, let's all sit back and see what happens in today's follow-up to the sad episode of last. Oh, right, we got ourselves a new thing. This, though, we've seen this already before, right? Yeah, university, we also saw that. Uh, but, completely just missed this telegram. Investigating in horns and hoof was a terrible idea. Oh, investing. The business failed and lost all money, although I now have two, jo two tons of jellied meats. Oh, no. I tried to sell it and was fired for trading. You are guilty of ruining my life, Carl. I wish I could make you eat all that jellied meat. Neographic. Oh my god. Oh, damn, that was so sad. Shit. <laughs> all right, just gave man up here scissors. Uh, don't know where the hell to find paint. I'll check on that. Alright, goddamn, found the paint. Found the paint, also found scissors in my own home. Didn't even think of searching my own apartment room, but yeah, here. Got you, uh, uh, got you the paint. Found paint for you, I hope you like the colors, thank you. I'm fine with this. Once I'm finished, I'll find a way to express my gratitude. Nice. <gasps> oh, also crap. We also got bills for this, four hours, oh my god, crap, we're gonna fail that. Shit. Uh, pick up the phone, accept private call, hello Carl, do you have information for me? Antonio, oh yeah, Antonio Grubrick works for the government. Grubrick tortured me with orders? Your person turned out to be a diversionist. He didn't print the brochure, did he? Oh no, he printed the brochure, but the content is a little different. If you, if you had tried to distribute them during the strike as planned, you'd have become a mockery. You did the right thing when you told me everything. Don't tell him what you know. Uh, he must do... He must do what he has to. You have received the money already. Oh, oh my god, damn. Oh my god, that was perfect. Wow. Oh. Holy shit! Damn, that was good. Good timing! New government directive? Oh no, it's here. Oh, and Grubik's left. Oh, blue tie? Oh no! Blue ties are illegal! <laughs> Alright, also, we got new room. Let's repair that. Let's move in that person who hates children. Perfect. Hope they get. To, hope that gives me money. And also, let's just go around searching stuff around the house. Aha! Uh -huh. New lady. Hello. Hello, Margaret. Meet. I'm Carl, the landlord. Good afternoon, comrade Carl Stein. Margaret Zuer, librarian. We met about ten years ago. I worked at the library of the forty-second teaching block. Oh, nice. You probably don't remember me. And I have a good memory for, of four faces. Nice to meet you. I I attended the 42nd block. I hope you'll like living in our building. I will if that's if it's clean and quiet. And no kids. Well, I mean, I got Patrick. Patrick's my kid. Patrick's my son. Patrick is a good boy, but uh, he might be leaving soon if I ever come up with goddamn 20,000. Can I, can I talk to him about that? Talk about the money for the trip. So that could you get? Oh damn! Anything else? 
Oh, wait, what did he think of Patrick? Your sister died. Martha passed away. Oh no, my poor sister. How can we live without her? How is this even possible? I... I don't know what to say, son. We couldn't, we couldn't save Martha. I couldn't. I can't talk right now. It's too hard. <coughs> oh, God. So sad. So what the hell do I do about this man? This man loves talking about war. Yet I don't see him ever talk about it. Um, something's happening. <gasps> War talk. Oh my God, what's what's Anna doing? <gasps> Anna! Oh my God! What the hell has happened again? <gasps> Anna died. Anna died? I have no idea what the hell happened. Um Uh son did Um Did your mother die? Also, goddamn, we already had someone who talked about war. But it wasn't the person I thought. My god, why are you talking about war? Uh, discuss the weather. It's the warmest autumn we've had in a while. You're young, Carl. You'd feel warm even in the Arctic. At my age, it's always freezing. Juvenile romanticism is inev inevitably replaced by senile romantic. Rheumatism. Alright. Okay, anything else? Alright, uh... Do you keep track of the news from the front line? Oh no, I'm saving... I'm saving my nerves. These fools can't fight properly. If I were in charge, I would have exterminated all of our enemies long ago. <laughs> Don't you think that's too much? Nonsense, Carl Stein. The history of mankind is about the bloodshed. Have you been ditching school? Come to my library, I'll give you some textbooks on the history of war. Oh my god. She's like me. I love talking about war. The history of it. Stuff like that. Anyway. Ooh, discuss library work. Do you like your job? Absolutely. What could be better than guarding books from people? I wouldn't last a day in the children's library. Unfortunately, society has once again forgotten that spanking is the best way to deal with a misfit. Who ruins books? You have stern views on bringing up children. Do you have kids? No, Carl, I don't have children. <coughs> They're the anti antithesis of everything I love, order and quiet. Tell her you ruined books? <laughs> when I was a kid, I ruined plenty of books. I did it when I got I did it when I got older too. Seriously, Carl? I remember tearing pages out of several pathetic memoirs. I purpose purposefully chose a certain article. I can't remember what it was about. What? That was you for an for an article removed from memoirs of the great leader. I was accused of <coughs> seven years, seven years of Camp Carl, all because of you. Calm down, or joke. <laughs> oh my god! All right, got reputation points. Calm down. Calm down, Margaret. That's in the past. I'm a state official now. I don't know how to apologize to you. I'll calm down, but I'll never forgive you. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, but um, is Anna gone? Holy shit, Anna is. Talk about the news. Why is there nothing about your mother? Also, I, there's no way you can make the money in six hours. It's, that's like completely impossible. Unless, you know, you write report on person that just arrived here. You know, she talked about war. We don't know why, but uh, she just did. Uh, it's an apartment. Apartment 3. 
uh, violated directive 6051 from I guess today war talk um sorry Margaret report rejected incorrect data directive data of directive date of issue oh and I was fined 100 oh my god wait what so wait but she talked about it was I wrong Margaret Zuer apartment 3 uh Violated 6051 from this prohibited. Well, oh, oh, what the hell? Why is that only appearing now? <coughs> oh. Yes, Anna has died. Quite sad. Goddamn, more deaths. But uh, I guess 9th of September. God damn it, it's right here. And the police went to the apartment to inspect it. Also, yep. Yeah, uh, your mother has passed. I'm sorry to tell you. Yes, father? Uh, learn what happened. Andrew and her family tried to leave. They were executed at the border. <gasps> They're all dead. This wouldn't have happened if I had been there. Don't you think you would have just died with them? I hate you, I hate this country. Oh my god. Taha, yeah. Police are here for you, speaking your crimes of war talk. How dare you. I've just received a new bill. Oh my god. Oh. Funeral services. Damn. Oh my god, she's just getting beaten up. Damn. Just got a new letter. I wonder what that'll be. Oh my god, just keep moving, uh, Margaret. Right? Margaret. Just reading you books live is in that. the best country in the world, and other countries are jealous of you. Oh, what? Each of our citizens receives all that he or she needs to live a happy and carefree life. So, sugar, here. bread, and certificates of appreciation. Just remember, oh, our foes are continually plotting against us. Thankfully, our hey, yeah, uh, can I trade you a couple of great things? leader effortly disperses the waves of terror our treacherous enemies send crashing upon our nice. great state. Still, you must be vigilant. Okay, and also, Keep an uh, eye on your surroundings. Check this. Goddamn. All right. Oh, there we go. Starting today, the streets of Helmer are decorated with mobile propaganda units. Each one will be transmitting pro. Patriotic stations non stop. Citizens will now be able to listen to the last. <coughs> oh god. Last news around the clock and resist the propaganda of the enemy. <laughs> Watch out for agents of sabotage and ah, report every finally. transgression. Do you not spoke let about it too. Imperialism. Also, a hello, person. Uh, get acquainted. I'm Carl the Landlord. What's going on? Just as Markovich. Uh, this is the mobile propaganda unit. According to our schedule, we'll be here for four days. Enjoy, Carl. Four days? Uh, can't you turn it down? Let's strike a deal, and you'll move on according to our schedule. According to your schedule. Aren't you tired of hearing this? How does this work? Easy. It's basically a giant moving radio. I need to set the frequency on the panel, as well as a few other options you don't need to know about. Okay, can't you turn it down? I can't. I can't turn it up, though. Oh, I can turn it up, though. No, please don't. Aren't you tired of hearing this? They gave us earplugs and headache syrup. Deaf guys get special treatment. I wish I were deaf. Uh, let's strike a deal and you move on according to your schedule. No, that would be neglecting my duty. In four days. Okay. Over our labor and valor. I'll just put the volume to down. The hostile attacks and defend our right also, to live as we wish. 
We oh, will move forward along yeah, our for own that. path and prove that the people and the party are one. Our great leader is oh my the God, mind, honor, so and loud. conscience of the state. Um, May he live long and prosper. You live MJ. in the best country in the world, and MJ. other countries are jealous of you. Each of our citizens receives there. all that he or she needs Part to live a four. happy and carefree life. Oh, shit, it's so, so damn loud. Sugar, bread, and certificates oh, of shit. appreciation. Um, Just remember, 60, 50, our foes are continually one. plotting against us. Thankfully, nine, nine, our great leader seven. effortlessly disperses the waves of terror our treacherous Ooh. enemies okay. send crashing upon our great state. Pick up phone. Urgency call ministry. Comrade Carl, there is anti-government propaganda in your building. <gasps> Remove it at once. Still, you must oh, be vigilant. Shit. Keep an eye on your surroundings. What the hell was that Watch out up there? for agents of sabotage and report every... You see an intricate tangle? Someone put a lot of effort into making it. Hard to take down the banners. Hmm... Middle, cut the bottom, cut the, cut the top. Who am I supposed to cut this with my bare hands? Okay. Do we not got scissors somewhere. Imperialism cast a shade <coughs> also, over our shit, why is it so damn loud? To counter the hostile attacks and defend our right to live as we wish, we will move forward along our own path. I'm sure we had what you call scissors here somewhere. Our great leader is the mind, honor, and conscience of the state. Oh my god. May he live long and be right back. Also, this guy's you getting arrested. In the best country in All right, let's cut. What? Vigilant. What? I got scissors. Keep an eye on your surroundings. A Watch dull out pair for of scissors. Of sabotage and report every transgression. That really not count. Do not let a we will also, move forward phone call. along our own path. And prove that the people and the party are one. Our great leader. All right, pick up the phone. Get task. Accept private. Hello, Carl. This is Danton. <gasps> Our team needs your help again. Now what? You've surely noticed the propaganda near your building, yes? It's hard to miss it. It keeps getting, keeps going day and night. Oh, oh, this truck. None of the tenants can sleep well. The lack of sleep is the least of the evils. This job visits upon me. This job visits upon me. The worst part is the content that Rig is cramming into the people's ears. But we have a plan that will advance your our cause. I don't want to kill anyone. Of course not, Carl. How could I? All we need to do is use the technological miracle of to broadcast our ideas. How? All I have to do is find a way to change the frequency. Remember, frequency 101.9. 101.9, okay? It's a pirate radio station. You're very smart, Carl. Should I even mention that the job will pay well? As soon as we hear the prog program we need, you'll receive your payment. Okay, agree. To help with this, I'll... To hell with this, I'll do it. It doesn't look hard. It doesn't look hard. Thanks, Carl. The New Tomorrow Movement 101.9? Yeah, is that what it was? Do not forget this. Is the mind, <coughs> also, honor, damn. And conscience. Dial the number? Leader's birth date ministry? What? Of the state. May he live <coughs> long Okay. Pick up the phone, get a task. Ministry of Order, hello Carl. The famous General Ariel Johnson is coming to town. Even though he's retired, John Johnson has agreed to give a series of lectures at the university. We've also arranged for him to give a speech to some school kids at the stadium to improve their patriotic spirit. You must move in General Ariel Johnson ASAP. Of course, anything else? Given Ariel's previous achievements, the state is eager to pay his expenses. It's your duty as a state employee to provide Johnson with everything he needs. Fulfill his very fulfill his every request out of respect for his previous achievements but no buts carl the ministry will reimburse you after johnson moves out execute and prosper you oh live God. in the best country in the world and okay. other countries are jealous of you each of our citizens also what is this ask about the leader's birth date also you're supposed to remember this date hopefully a fine will refresh your memory in adherence of order, you are fined for embezzlement. What? What? 
What is this the bullshit? Alright, skipping this because we've seen this already, so... To the bitter end. Talk about the car? About the car? What exactly? Find a way to change settings on your own? I can try this. Okay, you're a state official after all. I guess I can tell you. First, wait until I leave. Civilians must not approach the mobile propaganda unit in my presence. Second, using a screwdriver, remove the protective panel. Three, find the frequency. The frequency is found uh, by the administration. All I have to do is set the volume and move from one info point to another. And the last thing, enter the code. It's our great leader's birth date. Just Shit. remember, our foes are continually plotting against us. Thankfully. Great leader's birth date. Uh, that's not the leader's birth date. Patrick, when was our great leader born? Are you kidding me? Is this a test? Answer me. Alright, December 21, 120 years ago. Okay. Our great leader. Crap. Effort God damn it. I'm... The entire I'm running out of money. Carl oh my god. Car, to the Be right back again. Short okay, I'm actually having to end the episode here as... Damn, uh... Yeah, we've gone past the 30 minute mark anyway. Thank you all for being here today. Another death in the family. We're struggling. This is gone to shit. <laughs> god. Hope you all enjoyed my sadness in this game. Well, not really sadness. Uh, damn, what's the term? Um, I guess me struggling. Hope you enjoy me struggling. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Goodbye.